There's two reasons why I don't want to react to this video. One, because he copyrights all his footage. Two, I really don't want to react to someone reacting to someone that I've already reacted to. It's too much, but I have an idea. Alright, so we're gonna do something a little bit different. Natalie's brother reacted to Easy's video. Easy's video was only eight minutes long. His video is 23 minutes long. So what I'm gonna do is find loopholes in his story. You know, what I do best, point out the flaws, point out the phony parts. Because as y'all already know, I believe this whole thing is staged. Easy, Natalie, and him are knowingly acting out the storyline for the audience. Are y'all ready to react? Cause I am. Let's get it. What's up, Pro Pack? This week has been, um, this week has been crazy. Uh, if you don't know, I did a prank on Easy, and uh, that was the video before last that we posted, and she did a response to it, and now we're here. Um, I wasn't even gonna make this video. I wasn't gonna continue to feed it into all of it, but, um, the amount of hate um, and insults and, and just overall negativity that my family, my kids have been receiving, it's just, it's like, it's just too much. Um, literally hundreds of people in their DMs, you know, name calling, saying they should go to hell. Like that's over, over a prank. Um, oh. Get over that shit. I'm sorry, but you decided to sign up for this YouTube thing. I get that hate from Easy and Natalie fans all the fucking time. I can give two shits. Toughen up, because if you can't toughen up, you should not be doing YouTube. And they can they can hate me all they want. You know what I mean? Like, and I'll be honest, I do make it easy, right? Um, call me names, drag me, it's happened before. I don't respond, but when it comes to my family and especially my kids, um, that's just a line you can't cross. That's a line you don't cross. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and address everything from the prank to some of the comments, starting with her, um, her video. If this really did bother him, he would have deleted his video. But as you can see here, he did not. He also did not disable his comments. So if he really cared about his family, he would have this turned off to where his family would not see those comments. Let's get back to what he's got to say. I don't even know how to start this video, bro. Because it's like, it pisses me off. And y'all know, in order for me to lose my shit, it has to be that bad. That's not, that's not accurate. That's not accurate at all. One of the things about her is she loses her shit a lot. And like I said, <laughs> that's what I mean. Look, y'all can believe it. I know a lot of y'all watching are easy fans and stuff like that. And that's cool. You don't have to believe it. But this, that right there, that's a blatant lie, all right? Because I've experienced it. My sister has experienced it. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean it doesn't happen. Everything that I said, I didn't actually mean that. Now, me and she's, she's making it seem like me and her don't have a relationship, right? There is truth to the fact that me and her had a falling out. There's absolute truth to it. Um, I have my side of the story. She has her side of the story. And the truth is probably somewhere in between. The thing is, and a lot of us don't know what the hell the story is because they really weren't open to the detail. So not only have we spoken, not only have me and Easy spoken regarding all of that, the whole argument that we had, a whole blow up and everything like that, um, but she was, also, she was also here for Christmas. I invited her to come spend time with me and my family. I mean, we exchanged gifts. Um, we've also hung out. See, this is things like, like we went mountain biking in Malibu, just me and her. Why would I do a prank like this if I personally thought that we weren't cool? And that part right there I believe is true. This is why I believe that they actually do have a better relationship now. And they are able to work together on this storyline because they now have a relationship. I think it, the details of him going bike riding with her and hanging out and all this stuff is true. I make a video with somebody unless I thought we were actually cool, all right? Now, did I, was there some oversight on my behalf, right? Where maybe like, 
it would bring up some emotions if I did did this prank like this. I mean, it was something that I just did to my son. You know, go watch that video because I actually went harder on my son than mm. I did on her. But like, that's the whole- Promote, boy. You better promote your other video. Yeah. Let them know, direct them to your other videos to watch. I'm just making jokes, I'm cracking jokes. Could I have thought it through and understood? Like, well, maybe she does still have some things, some feelings towards me. Yes, I could have. And that's an honest mistake. But to make it seem like we went from like not cool to me doing this video is absolutely false. You can watch our entire Christmas vlog. She was here the entire Christmas. I got her a gift. Go ahead, boy, promote that other video. <laughs> Two videos he's promoted so far. The shit that he was saying in the video was I feel like actually real stuff that he felt about. Because of what happened, bro, you know what happened a couple Bro. Ooh, this man is hairy. I have hairy arms, okay? His hair goes all the way to his hand, to the knuckles. Goddamn. I've barely been on your channel, so for you to think that it's cool to prank me, like, you know we ain't even really hashed out, hashed out what happened, okay? And okay, so I thought we did. You didn't. You know, and like I said, for me to get heated, like, I'm, I'm, I'm literally always on 10 when it comes to happy energy. So, I'm telling that, you know what? She's on 10 for, for cameras. And it's okay, right? It's okay to not always be super happy and super loud and, and all that. But the reaction that she had, that right there, that's that's really what I've experienced a hundred times. Not just from me, but to my sister, to other people as well. And we all know Easy is an emotional, sensitive person. I'm speaking outside of this whole fake shit. I'm saying in general. When we're all upset about something and mad about something, sometimes we, we get a little hostile, you know? Sometimes we get a little loud, a little aggressive. And especially when you're an emotional person like Easy, you're gonna react in that way. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. This video's kind of a little annoying. He's pretty much letting y'all know that they did have a relationship. That they did hash things out. That they do spend time together. That's pretty much his defense. So that's the role he's playing in the show that they have going on right now. They had the prank. That was scene one. Easy talks about her feelings on the situation. Scene two. He's gonna defend himself and react to what she had to say. Scene three. What do y'all think scene four is gonna be? Who has not spoken yet that's part of this show. I would not be surprised if the next video is gonna come from Natalie. But what they should actually do though, to spice things up a little bit, to make things interesting, is have their mama, okay? I'm talking about Natalie and Josh's mom. Because you know, apparently she has her own channel that she just created. That would be cool to see. Mama getting involved in the story. But I don't think mama's ready for the acting world. So I am waiting to see what Natalie's gonna do on her end. But let's continue. This video that she posted isn't a mistake. You're, you're posting something and you're dragging me the entire time. You're putting me, my family, everybody out there on blast, right? In front of hundreds of thousands of people. And then you say, I don't regret it. I don't apologize for it. That's egotistical. That is someone that is self-centered, that doesn't care about anybody but themselves because what do you think that's doing to my sister i'll tell you because i was on the phone with her Ooh. all right she's crying she's literally crying her eyes out she's literally crying her eyes out and and i'm i'm the one you know talking to her and easy just posts this and dips to miami <laughs> so my that is funny. Y'all went that yeah. <laughs> Y'all went all out, yo, for the story. If you want to succeed in something, you have to put in all of your effort and work into it. And this is what they're doing. Who do you think is filming? My sister's crying her eyes out <laughs> as you're in Miami at a strip club dancing with a girl. And how do you think that makes a uh, big brother feel? And think about it, why Miami, Florida though? Out of all the states you can go to, why Miami? That's your girl's hometown. Both of y'all are over there. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Come on. You're in Miami? Like you're in a strip club. My sister's crying her eyes out because of the whole situation. And a lot of people are dragging my sister because she wanted to try and defuse the situation. Right? She wanted to try and defuse everything. But Easy, how are you gonna dip to Miami after you do all this and then have the nerve to go to 
go to social media and post at a strip club dancing with a girl. Like that right there? See, that's the issue. Those are the problems that me and her, we have. And when I came to Christmas, to their Christmas, and you can literally see how genuine it's like, all right, let me put all the bullshit aside, and this is Christmas, come on. The reason why Easy only pointed out Christmas is because that's the only footage out there that they have all together. So they're reminding you guys of that footage. It's keeping you caught up with the story. What she's doing is literally not just affecting like her. What she's doing in Miami is affecting my sister. Her putting this video out is making people call out my kids. But she doesn't care about any of that. She cares about her. She cares about her emotions because she's the only one that went through something that night. Like she acted like I wasn't hurt. Granted, I understand this is a business and the YouTube world is their income. At the same time, all these haters and all these people bashing are real. That shit is real. The comments, the, the way people are defending Easy, the way they're attacking Natalie, the way they're attacking Josh and his family, all that shit is real. Those people are reacting realistically off of your staged performance. Now ask yourselves this, is it really worth it? Is this money really worth it? The fame really worth it? Especially you, Josh, because you do have kids. I'm not sure how hard these comments are going in on the family, but just going off of what he's saying, there's a lot of attacks. Is this YouTube shit really worth it? Is money that important to you guys? Fake or not, real or staged, skit or a real prank, is it worth it? I said you look like a pit bull. That's a joke. <laughs> I literally, I mean, I was, I literally said her feet stink. You know, there, there were things that were literally cut out of the video just to not make it too long. Like I said, there's a lot that y'all don't see. I don't care about a prank, bro. This is why the family project didn't work, bro. It's, it's, it's because of me, right? And I know it's real easy for a lot of people to believe it's because of me. But we can't just watch this video of her in Miami at a strip club after <laughs> she does something like this. I will say, I do like the fact that they're all willing to take the hate. They knew by doing this that Josh was gonna take most of the attacks. I don't really think that they thought that Natalie would get the attacks. Natalie didn't really say much in the video, but the problem was that exactly, that she didn't say much to defend Easy, to protect her in any way. It's smart of them to realize that, okay, Easy is gonna be your turn. So of course, showing her with the stripper, it might get some backlash. I don't know, what was that, TikTok? Y'all let me know how that reaction was from the audience. Her in Miami at a strip club, that's not a mistake, those are, conscious decisions that she does to put herself before her family, before her girlfriend, before everybody, right? All right, I'm done, I'm done. Yeah, we cared about each other, easy. And obviously you're still, you're, you're still hurt. But by saying we haven't hashed it out, that is 100% implying that we haven't talked about it. Now you haven't hashed out, you still feel some type of way. And that's okay. We can talk about it, but we can't talk after you doing what you're doing in Miami because that that's crossing the line. We can't really talk after you're posting stuff like this, making it seem like we haven't had a discussion. We can't talk after you have all of your people going to my son, my daughter's Instagram DM and them dragging them. That, we can't talk after that, but we can talk when we did. We can talk at Christmas when you're giving me gifts. We can talk whenever we're hiking. We can talk at a movie night. Those are times we can talk. Just so you guys know, I've already reached out to Easy. Just because you're seeing this video doesn't mean you can assume that I haven't reached out to Easy. That I haven't talked to her and said, yo, let's talk. And I didn't even know she went that crazy on the video, but I want to talk to her. All right? And she told me she's in Miami. I know, obviously. Obviously she's in Miami and she's gonna be back on Thursday. So at that point, that's when we're gonna talk. But until then, my sister is literally crying her eyes out and I don't even know if she's seen this video of Easy in Miami. I don't know if she's seen her with some girl shaking her ass all over her while my sister's crying. But either way, once she comes here, me and her are really gonna talk. So you guys can see that because there's a lot that happens behind closed doors that you don't see. <laughs> Propack, you guys are amazing. I yeah. will talk to Easy just so you guys can see. Yeah. All right? But until then, I'm not finishing. <laughs> Give me a second. Video. Um, it's just it's just too much. I just wanted to clear up some things. Um, guys, like I said, you can hate me all you want to. If that makes you feel better, that's fine. 
Um, just come on, like, like, like have a heart though when it comes to my family, have a heart when it comes to my kids. They don't deserve that, you know what I mean? They didn't sign up for that. So I hope that cleared up some of the things for you guys, but um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to my sister. And, um, like I said, I love y'all. Um, <laughs> so the next video might not be Natalie. The next video, it might be Josh and Easy talking together in front of the camera. What do y'all think about that? If this shit was real, family drama that has caused pain to your sister or your girlfriend, you guys are gonna talk to the audience. That's what you guys are gonna do. You guys are gonna talk to each other in front of the audience like it matters what the audience has to say or think about the situation. Wouldn't it be Natalie? Wouldn't that matter? I stand by what I say. If there's something that stands out that seems real to me, I will say it. But as of right now, I've seen nothing but acting. All right, you guys, tell me what you thought about this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.